worship experience. Yes. Yes, sir. Think about Je Jehovah, our God. Yes. Our God. Who has spared us another Lord's Day Amen. to gather in the house of prayer, even in the midst of times like these. Yes, God is able to provide for us. Yes, just what we need. Yes, what we need. And, 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 and in all that he does, there's always a remnant. When, when they went into captivity, the Lord left a remnant to make sure that the story would be told. Yes, sir. Right. So, so yes. we've come on today to continue in the legacy of lifting up the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We certainly thank God for our technical team. Wow. Amen. Sister Taylor. Amen. And then we thank God for the leadership of Dr. Jones. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Pastor. And then we thank God for the Mount Carmel family. Every right. member, one by one. And then there's a crowd that's on their way. We're praying for those that have not yet made the connection, have not yet come to understand the importance of of their relationship with God. Yeah. 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 But, but, but they're on their way. Some of them are still turning up bottles in the alley. Some of them are still on, on, but, 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 uh, They're on their way. Yeah. On their way and, and the reason I know they're on their way is because I've been there. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. It took me a while to get here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. uh, they're on their way. And as we look at uh, this time of the year and we think of the great humanitarian of Dr. King. Dr. And, King, uh, that's uh, up. We were sharing with Deacon Ruff figures that the reason the young folk don't know is because we're not telling them. We're not there telling them. We, we need tell to tell the story. Yeah. If, if Dr. King really means anything, then yeah. we need to lift up, and then there won't be such a disconnect. Amen. Uh -huh. Many of these young folk think it started with them. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Don't nobody tell them More than just how they to know. Yes, right. But that's when right. you think of Dr. King and the lives that he's touched all over the world. And when you think in terms of uh, Gandhi and his peaceful protests and all, yeah. I'm reminded of that Dr. King was a black Baptist preacher. Come on, man. Yes. Yes. Jesus was the yes. one who inspired him to have peaceful uh, concerns and to move forward. So we thank God for this special time of the year. Uh, we pray for our country and and, and these horrific times, yes, sir. but but God is still able. Yes, sir. Still able. So 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 we are grateful, and as we prepare to move along, we want to lift up the name of Jesus. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when I I make my way down, uh, it, it's a struggle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. didn't have to think about it. Just yes, go sir. Yes, sir. And on my way. Yeah. But I discovered if I could find my way to the house Come of prayer. If I can get a little worship in, yeah. I feel a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, our Hallelujah. scripture today will be read by Thank Deacon Hal Irby, James, the fifth chapter, Hallelujah. 13 through the sixth verse. Our devotional prayer will be given by Deacon Shedrick Ricks, Hallelujah. altar prayer, Deacon James Taylor, and our offertory prayer. Deacon Bob Figures. Amen. 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 Let's praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. There's a storm. Come on. Oh, the ocean. Amen. Amen.
from the book of James mm -hmm. and we're going to read from the fifth chapter mm -hmm. verses 13 all the way through 16. All right. Amen. And for those of you who are able either here at home please stand for the reading of the Lord's word. Well yes sir. Yes, sir. And in the King James Version Come on with it. it sounds like this. Mm. Is any among you afflicted? Mm. Let him pray. Yes sir. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Well, is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church yes, sir. Yes, sir. and let them pray over him, well, well, anointing well. him with oil in the name of the Lord. Well, yes. Yes. And the prayer of faith shall save the yes, sick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And yes, the Lord yes, sir. shall raise him up. Mm. And if he have committed sins, well. they shall be forgiven him. Well, Lord. Confess your faults one to another mm -hmm. and pray one for another mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that ye may be healed. Yes. The effectual fervent prayer well, of a righteous man availeth much. Sure. Well, Lord, the sure. word, word of God word. for the people of God. Yes, the word. Yes, the word. 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 Yes, sir. That is the word. My, my, my. Yes, Thank sir. You, Lord. Oh, Jesus on my mind. My mind yeah. stayed on the Lord. How, how, how can a person not serve the God that we serve? How can they have such malice in their heart and don't trust in God? It's unbelievable. But when you trust him and you try him for yourself, and he works things out, not in your time, but in his own time, you know that God lives. And you got to trust in his word. you got to believe that his son died for our sins. Well, no, no. It's just the word of God. Shall oh, yeah. we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, Lift him up. we come this morning mm -hmm. with a bow down head yeah, and yeah. an uplifted heart well, to say thank you, thank Lord. You, Lord. Thank, you, thank, you. thank you for another day thank in your Lord. blessed word. Thank you for another Sunday where we can worship and praise you in yeah. unison with one another. Yeah. We just thank you for being God and God all by yourself. Oh, yourself. Oh, we thank you that you're the God that raised Jesus on the third day yes, with yes, all power. Oh, 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 oh. The same God that could have sent 10,000 angels down to the cross on Calvary to lift Jesus off that cross. But yet and still, Lord, you let that go on that we might be able to to have the right to the true life. We thank you this morning, Lord, Lord. We invite your spirit to just come in and suck with us for a moment this morning. Lord, we thank you for Mount Carmel in this entire. We thank you for this little church on the corner that has been continuously going strong through the pandemic. Lord, we need you this morning. We can't get along without you. We're praying for our leadership. Yeah. Yeah. Continue to bless Dr. Yeah. Jones in a special yeah. way. Continue to give him the right spirit and mind to continue to lead this flock yeah. in the way that it should go. Yeah. We yeah. thank yeah. you for his companion, yeah. Lord, yeah. Sister yeah. Jones. Yeah. Continue to bless her. Yeah. Continue to just keep them in the hollow hearts of thy Lord. hand. Keep them, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the men of Mount Palm yeah. who yeah. have been faithful. Through this Lord. pandemic, to continue to come Lord. down here every Sunday yes, sir. and try to get your word out thank to the Lord. people yes, that don't know you. 
Lord, just continue to be with us. We need you this morning. Yes, I wouldn't serve a God if I couldn't feel him sometimes. Yeah. You, that's your spirit, Lord. It just yeah. takes over. Yes, sometimes I get emotional. Yeah. But I get emotional about a great God. That's right, a man. great son of God, which is yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And I thank you for it. Yes, I thank you for just touching me sometimes, yeah. Lord. Yeah. I thank you for enabling me to wake up in the yeah. morning and say yeah. thank you. Yeah. Knowing it wasn't the alarm clock, but it was you, Father, that touched me. Yeah. And rolled me over to say, hey, son, it's another day. Do what you have to do to let people may see God in you. Yeah. Remove me, Lord, and place yourself in thy way so that I can do as you would have me to do, that somebody may see God and yeah. Christ in yeah. me. Yeah. Help me, Lord, to Help remove us. all malice from my heart against anyone, Lord, that may have done me wrong. Forgive us for our sins and transgressions, Lord. We love you this morning. We earnestly praise and ask Amen. that you continuously be with us individually and collectively. Yes, bless, bless Mount Carmel in this entirety, Lord, each member one by one. We're just going to say we love you. We're going to shout your name. We're going to praise you this morning, Lord. Holy hallelujah in your house of worship. We're going to have church. Because you brought us not some of the way, but all the way. And we thank you for it. Lord, we just sometimes, if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't thank you enough. But we would use each one of them to just to say thank you and pray in your holy and righteous name. Continue, Lord, to just bless us. Lord, we need you. We can't get along without you. Lord Jesus. Bless my children. And my children, children, Lord. Bless my companions. Just have your way. And you have your way, Lord, because you're helping my boy each day to get better. And I thank you for it, Father. But I thank you for the prayers of the righteous. Because they sure have a baby of money. Those prayers have helped him heal some, Lord. He got a long way to go, but he's on his way. Because of you, but I pray that you change his heart and his mind. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Lift him up that he might come this way and know that God saved him. God put it through the doctor's hands to make the right decision. My boy was told that he had died twice, but only a God could raise him. Only God. And I know that for myself. And I just want to thank you this morning, Lord. Thank you. I just thank you for all that you've done in my life. Continue to help me be better. Continue to keep me on this path of righteousness, Lord. I've seen the things that you would do. I've felt your presence. I know that you live. I know that you live, God. I know you're real, Lord. And I believe in you. Lord, we're praying for our political situation. Help it be a peaceful transition this week, Lord. No matter what the outgoing done, we just need you to bless the incoming and bless the outgoing as well, Lord. Just help it be a peaceful move. We pray for the pandemic, Lord. Please uh, help all those frontline workers, those doctors that stand on the wall each and every day. Lord, please just help. Bless all those families that have lost loved ones through this pandemic. Bless us all, Lord. We need you. And Lord, we'd be remiss if we didn't thank you for Dr. Felker. Yes, sir. Sister Felker. Yes, sir. For the work that he has done in this place and all over the country. We thank you for him. Lord, we love you. We magnify you. We praise you. Magnify your name, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it is in Jesus' name we pray and say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, yes. 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 Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The one who came. Amen. 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 Right. Right. Just for us. Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good morning to those of you who have gathered here to praise God and for those of you who are streaming live. Good morning again. It's a blessed day. It's a good day. It's just a wonderful day. Thank God for our deacons, for the prayers that they pray, and all the things that they do. I really, I really appreciate our deacons. Let's give them a hand. Amen. 
to be singing Blessed Quietness. Well, yes. Joys are flowing like a river. All right. Since the Comforter has come, yeah. he abides with us yeah. forever. Makes the trusting heart his home. His home. Oh, Blessed, quietness. Blessed quietness. Blessed quietness. Yeah. Holy quietness. Yeah. What assurance in my soul. Mm -hmm. On the stormy sea, Jesus speaks to me, and the billows cease to roll, bringing life and help and gladness all around this heavenly gift. Banish unbelief and sadness, change our weariness to rest. Blessed quietness, holy quietness. Would you help me sing? Yes. Words on the back of your program. Yes.
chapter 1 verse 17 and Michael the 6th chapter verse 8 mm -hmm. and Isaiah 1 17 reads as follows learn to do well yes, sir. Yes, sir. seek judgment relieve the oppressed judge the fatherless plead for the widows yes, Michael 6 verse 8 he has shown thee O man what is good and what do the Lord require of thee but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. May God bless the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his word. Amen. God bless you. Well, well. Yes. Praise our God. For he is worthy of all our praise. Yes, he is. I heard the deacon pray. I was listening. I heard the deacon pray this morning. He woke up with his mind stayed on. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. I recommend you lay down with it. Mm -hmm. Lay down with your mind. Stay on Christ Jesus. Come on now. All right now. He's an early morning God, a late afternoon God, and all night God. We just praise him. Yes, sir. We come this morning, oh God, to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We come, oh God, because we've learned as your followers that thou art in need of refuge for an oppressed people. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We come, oh God, realizing that thou has made yourself a strong tower yeah. 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 in the midst of troubled times. Yeah. Well, well. We come, oh God, full knowing that it's because of you that we move, live, and have our baby. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Thank you. We come this morning, oh God, yes, to praise your name. But we come this morning, Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. We realize, O oh God, that it is you who has made us and not we ourselves. Yes, yes. Bless, O oh God, those who don't know you in the pardon of their sin. Yes, Use us, O oh God, that we may be instruments before a dying world, yes, that they may see a living Christ yes. in us. We realize, O oh God, the promise of your way. You said you never leave us nor forsake us. We're not just standing on the promise, O oh God. We're stepping out on faith. Yeah. But we have a calling upon us, O oh God. Yeah. You said, go and tell the world of a doubt, but a risen Savior. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you this morning for Christ yeah. Jesus, O oh God. Thank you that you so loved us yeah. that you gave your only begotten. Yeah. Thank you for our Savior. Thank you for our Redeemer. Thank you this morning for our healer this morning. Thank you for Alpha and Omega. We come to praise you this morning. Praise we don't worship you in spirit and in the truth. In the midst of all that we experience, yes, the storm is raging. Uh -huh. But thou art a God who has made peace to the wind. Yeah. Peace be still. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We realize, oh God, that we can do nothing without you. Well, yes, but in Christ, all things are possible. Yes, sir. And as we go through these horrific times, oh God, we look beyond what may be betiding us. What may be hindering us. And we look yonder to the hills from which come with our strength. All our help comes from the Lord. We come and thank you this morning, oh God. The things I'm glad they are. 
But we know in your time, you will right the ship, oh God. Oh, yeah. Call us not to go mutiny, but to hold on a little while longer. All right, all right. Stay on board. For you promised. Never leave, never leave us, nor forsake us. Yes, sir. Now, thank you, O oh God, for those who've gone on before us. Those patrons, O oh God, who were servants, who called us to know a living God. Thank you, O oh God, for my mama this morning. Yes, Lord. Thank you for my aunties this morning, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, and all those who have gone for us. Yeah. Well, that made us to know that there is a God. Yeah. He's real. He's real. Yes, and he loves us. Thank you this morning. I know you for myself this morning, oh God. Yes, sir. You bless me. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you in a mighty, mighty way. Yes. Yeah. I would, oh God, that you just bless my carmel in a yes, special sir. way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bless my carmel in a special way, oh God. Thank you. And bless Pastor Jones and Sister Jones. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And bless Dr. Falcon and Sister yeah, Falcon. Yeah. Thank you for every member one by one this morning. And then, oh God, let us be mindful of those who have paved the way for us. Yeah, Dr. King. Say it, say it, Jerry. I don't want to God listen because there's many I might forget. But Dr. King was prominent. As Brother Taylor said earlier on, we recall he was a Baptist, a black Amen. Baptist preacher. Yes, sir. It was Lord who gave him his martin yes, That's right. Let us be examples Please, today. Sir. Please, Lord. Please, sir, give us peace beyond all understanding. Well, well. Order our steps in your word, oh God. For we realize the steps of a good man are ordered. Bless the Lord. Lord. Bless, oh God, as only thou can. Yes. Use us to that own glory. Have your way. Yes, sir. This moment is yes, We need you. Can't get along without you. My, my, my. I'm so grateful this morning, oh God. But I know you for myself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me a voice, oh God, that I may cry before the end of the world of Jesus. Yeah. It's yeah. real. And he lives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bless us, oh God, right now. Amen. We lift up our convention, oh God, to you Amen. in a mighty way. Yes, Lord. Amen. We lift up our government to you, oh God, Amen. in a mighty way. Well, well. We lift up the incoming, oh God, and the outgoing yeah. in a mighty yeah. way. We pray for this pandemic. Oh God, in a mighty way. We lift up, oh God, those first responders in a mighty way. All of which you already know. But we lift it up, oh God, because you said, make your supplications known to the Father. But we know you're able. We're trusting in you, oh God. Yes, sir. That you'll make it all right. Now bless, oh God, as only thou can. Yeah. In this moment right now, use us henceforth to thine glory. Keep us, oh Lord, forever humble and in love. On the straight and narrow, but we on our way to a better day. Thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you this morning. Praise you. You lift up your holy name. Have, you yeah. Have your way, O oh God, in this place yes, henceforth. It's a prayer of thy servant, and we ask it in Jesus' name. For our sake, we pray. And all the saints said, Amen. 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 Glory Amen. to God. Glory to our God. God is good. God is good. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Rub it out. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the midst of this time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to share with my good God is yes, in worship. He's good out there. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, if, of all the things that the Holy Ghost does, of all yes, the things that the Spirit of God does, He guides us, He leads us, He keeps yeah. us, He yeah. teaches us. But there are times when He just makes us feel like we don't have any problems at all. Yes, Amen. Lord. And that's in the midst of all of this. We can shout and say hallelujah. You're going to make it all right. Amen. Yeah. We're yes, so sir. thankful that uh, in our worship today, we're going to have a presentation that we're going to share with you. Uh, about Dr. Martin Luther King. Amen. It's called A Legacy of Service. We hope those of you who are viewing will be blessed by this presentation. And following this presentation, uh, Sister Jones will come and prepare us for our last congregational song. Amen. 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 If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be 
recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful, but recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. By giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great. Because everybody can serve. Our country, this wonderful place, this little piece of real estate that we call America, was built, founded on service. We didn't necessarily wait for local, state, or the national government. We came together as a people, and we just did it. I was one of four six-year-old children, girls, to integrate the public school system here in New Orleans in 1960. When I look at the Norman Rockwell painting and I see myself, I always say that the lesson I took away was a lesson that Dr. King tried to teach all of us, and that was that we should never look at a person and judge them by the color of their skin. I crossed a picket line, a mob every day for a whole year. There was a woman there to greet me. She did everything she could to make my day fun. She not only taught me, but she read stories to me. We played games. I knew that if I got past the mob and inside of the building, I was going to have a great day. And it was because of her. So she showed me her heart. And I began to realize that there was no way she was like the people outside. I couldn't judge her the same way. And so I believe at that moment, I learned the lesson that Dr. King died trying to teach us. In 1957, when I was 17 years old, I wrote Martin Luther King Jr. a letter, told him I wanted to attend a little college about 10 miles from my home, and this school didn't admit black students. He wrote me back and sent me a round trip Greyhound bus ticket. I traveled to Montgomery. I saw Dr. King standing behind a desk. He said to me, are oh, you the boy from Troy? Are oh, you John Lewis? I was so scared, I didn't know what to say or what to do. And I said, Dr. King, I'm John Robert Lewis. He gave my whole name. He was so inspiring. He was so moving. And somehow, in some way, I wanted to become part of that movement. And I did. For a long time, people fought to get the King holiday in. And it finally got achieved nearly 25 years ago. But it was sermons, talks, meetings, lunches. And one, one day I said to myself, this is wrong if Martin Luther King were here. Uh, he say, that's not what I want on my day. I teamed up with John Lewis in the House and many Republican and Democratic colleagues of mine in the Senate. We felt that Martin Luther King Jr. was a man of service. And his day, the federal holiday, should be a day of service. When the Congress passed the legislation, it was sort of like a, a reading wedding vows that uh, we were marrying uh, a commitment to serve the common good and to let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. We lost a great soul. He took chances. He lived daringly. He didn't let the fear of harassment or uh, persecution deter his, his mission. He stayed focused and committed while he died at a young age. Uh, he lived a long life in terms of service and witness. Uh, he piled into those 39 years, uh, 100 years or more of service and preaching and 
and loving, caring. My father said an individual has not started to live until he or she can rise above the narrow confines of his, his or her individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of humanity. He would certainly applaud the fact that our nation has set aside a day where we can become more other-centered rather than self-centered and really focus on uh, the broader concerns of humanity because that's really the person that he was and the way that he lived. Nothing's insignificant as you're celebrating the King Day. Remember, you are important, you are significant, and you have something that you can offer to make humanity a better place. We at the Corporation for National and Community Service are the federal agency that is so proud to be leading the Martin Luther King Day of service and volunteerism throughout the country. We are asking people on Martin Luther King Day to volunteer in their community. Ask a friend or family member or a coworker or find someone who may be lonely or feeling isolated and ask them to join you and serve your neighborhood. We're asking people not just on Martin Luther King Day, but to volunteer throughout the year and help others and serve. As Coretta Scott King proclaimed, The greatest gift Martin could receive is if people of all racial and ethnic backgrounds celebrate the holiday by performing individual acts of kindness through service to others. Pastor, come, let's sing, order my steps. Would you please stand? For those of you who are listening live, please stand as well. God, we come at this time saying thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for allowing us to see another day which we've never seen before. Thank you for the portions of health and strength that you've given us. Thank you for enabling us to have our mind stayed on you, not only when we woke up this morning, but even when we lay down tonight. We can lay down with our mind stayed on you. Be with us today as we share in this worship. Enable us to receive that that you have us to receive on this day. And then, oh God, we pray that when we leave this place for the day, that we all will be better than we were when we arrived. We'll be quick to give you the glory and the praise. In the master's name of Jesus Christ, we do pray. Amen. 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 
right. right. We hope that you were helped and blessed by oh, that yeah. oh, presentation yeah. on Martin Luther King. It was fantastic. Yeah. I want to thank, of course, uh, our own Sister Carol for making it look easy. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 There is a word from the Lord on, that I want to share with you on today. And uh, for those of you that are able to stand with us, we're going to be coming from two passages, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17, and then Micah chapter 6, verse 8. While you're looking at that or turning to that, uh, scrolling to that, I just want to give honor and respect to uh, Pastor Meredith, Dr. Felker, and Sister Felker, and to all of the officers that make up this the Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church, and to our family and friends that are sharing with us. Amen. We don't take you for granted for sharing with us, Amen. and we thank Amen. God for you worshiping with us on today. Those of you that are viewing as well as our friends that are with us in the audience on today. Sure. Oh, no. Amen. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17, in the language of the King James Version, sounds like this. Learn to do well. Mm. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Yes, Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. Lord Jesus. He has showed thee, O man, yes, sir. what is good. Mm. And what doth the Lord require of thee? Well. But to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly mm. with thy God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. The word of God. Yes, for the people of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For a few moments, yes, I'd like you to think about this thought today. Thank you, Jesus. The results of righteousness. Uh -huh. The result. There are some results. Okay, that we get that come from being a right doer, okay. being righteous. All right. All right. You know, as many prepare to either take off physically or to just stop work from those that are working at home during this pandemic on Monday, uh, it might be appropriate just to take a moment to think about why we really aren't working on this coming Monday. Oh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Mm -hmm. All because of his commitment to equal rights, nonviolence, and social change. Well, well. And something that, that we have seemed to get lost and it must continue to be mentioned because, and I'm thankful for those that have mentioned it, uh, uh, Chairman Taylor's mentioned it, Brother James in his prayer mentioned it, and it's a reality that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a black Baptist preacher. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Let us not forget the Baptist denomination has a proud history. Right. And we should not be ashamed of who we are right. uh, as Baptists. Right. Amen. Well, well, Amen. Well, well. The inspiration of Dr. King and the Civil Rights Movement led our nation and the federal government to a new standard of equality and inclusion, well. which was Dr. King's purpose. Right. He wanted to challenge our country to be a better place, better place. Mm -hmm. to understand the results of righteousness, where every person is valued and respected. Uh -huh. These are some of the things, among many others, that we should never forget. That's right. That's right. Brothers and sisters, we should never forget that Dr. King challenged us to overcome oppression and violence. Uh -huh. He urged us to reject revenge, aggression, and retaliation. Uh -huh. We should never forget that his vision that no individual should be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character set in motion changes that led to the passage of civil rights legislation right. and voting laws okay. in honor and respect for his contribution to the improvement of our national attitudes, our policies, and our laws. Wow. Brothers and sisters, we should never forget never. that without the results of his righteousness, uh -huh. Sandra Day O'Connor, she's not a black woman, she's a white woman, yes, would have never become the first woman Supreme Court Justice. Right. Barack Hussein Obama would never have become the first African American president of these United States. Uh -huh. I'm sorry to tell some of you all it was not Bill Clinton, but it was Barack Hussein Obama. Amen. Congressman John Robert Lewis would have never become the inspiration to our entire country. Uh -huh. Kamala Debbie Harris would have never become the first female vice president of these United States. And Emmanuel Chris Welch would not have become the first Illinois Speaker of the House. I want to hear what I'm saying today. Over the years, there have been some speculation on what Dr. King himself could have accomplished if his life hadn't been cut so tragically short. 
You see, he was only 28 years old when he was elected the first president of the Southern Christian Leadership Council. Yes, sir. He had already graduated from college at 19 uh -huh. and graduated from divinity school at 22. Uh -huh. By the time Dr. King was 29 years old, he had published his first book, yes, Strive Toward Freedom. Yes. In 1964, he gave his famous I Have a Dream speech well, right. to 250,000 people who marched on Washington yeah. in support of pending civil rights legislation. Needless to say, he was successful in getting that legislation passed. Right, also in 1964, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Right. Now, that was a lot of accomplishments for a man who at that time was only 35 years old. Well, well. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. believed in our country and its potential for greatness. Mm -hmm. He also believed that each one of us is essential to our country in achieving its full potential. That's right. Uh -huh. Now, although Dr. King's primary efforts focused on equality for African Americans, his ultimate goal was the equality and inclusion of every oh, individual. Oh, I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. Right. As Dr. King said, there is nothing more dangerous than to build a society with a large segment of people in it, that society who feel that they have no stake in it, mm -hmm. who feel that they have nothing uh -huh. to lose. He went on to say, people who have a stake in their society protect their society. But when they don't have stake in the society, they unconsciously want to destroy it. Oh, yeah. Amen. Reminds us of a couple of Wednesdays ago, yes, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, even in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic, brothers and sisters, this Monday gives us another opportunity to reaffirm and to reflect on our appreciation for the uniqueness that each individual brings to the community. All right, all right. I know we can't engage each other. I know we can't go visit each other like we have in the past, uh -huh. but call somebody. Yeah. FaceTime somebody. Yes, sir. Set up a Zoom gathering with your family and your friends. Uh -huh. Take a moment and look in the mirror and think about a couple of things. Think of the strength of your family's past history. Yeah. I was listening to uh, the Deacon James Taylor as he was praying and he was talking about his mother and his aunt and he was mm -hmm. talking about people in his family. I mean, think about those members. I think about my grandfather and how strong he was. I think about the things that men and women in my family did. You know, and, and, and as a part of that, I can think about the fact, I'll come to the reality to understand that we are survivors. Okay, through our bloodstream runs the blood of survivors. You know, more African Americans, more black folk died in the Middle Passage than was killed in the ovens and in the, 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 the places that, that, that the Germans set up to kill, uh, un, you know, unfairly kill all of those Jewish people. More of us died in the Middle Passage than that. And yet and still, we are here in this country. Because somebody in our family, somebody survived the boat ride. Somebody survived that ship. And it's because they survived, that's why we're here. We're here letting us the blood of survivors. Reflect on that. Reflect on the reality of your presence. In the midst of racism, yeah. in the midst of caste, yeah. in the midst of brutality, yeah. in the midst of inequities, yeah. And, the, and then we must admit there's some self-hatred among our own people. Yeah. But in the midst of all of that, oh. we are still here. Yeah. Take a moment and read something. Mm. Read anything. You know, I love that, you know, we have a member, uh, Sister Mary Roselle, whenever a good book comes out, yeah. she just makes sure I get a copy of it. All right. and, it and she constantly has me reading some new things. And I, and I love to read anyway. But I want to tell you something. Those of you that don't love to read, check this out. Take a moment and read something. Yeah. Read anything. I don't care if it's a magazine. Yeah. Just read it. But then when you read it, reflect on the reality Voila. that there was a time yes, when it was illegal yeah. in this country for you to read, yeah. for you to be taught to read. How can you not want to read when there was a time when it was illegal for us to even read a book? Yeah. I wonder you hear what I'm saying today. Oh, yeah. Realize and make real the results of righteousness in your life yeah. and in the lives of others. Take some time out and do good. Yeah. Take some time out and seek justice. 
Take some time out and correct oppression. Take some time out and stand or speak for the widow's cause. Take some time out and show some love and show some mercy. Take some time out and walk humbly before God. You know what that means? That means live in confident strength, knowing that God is going to bring you through. In spite of whatever the difficulties are, you can stand confident and know that God is going to bring me through. When are you going to bring me through? I don't know. How are you going to do it? I don't know. But one thing I know, that is I don't believe that he brought me this far to lead me. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. God gave Isaiah the results of righteousness to give to the nation of Judah when he lived his life. And he said these words, learn to do right. Right. Seek right. justice. Yeah. Defend the oppressed. Uh-huh. I don't I don't write it, I just preach it. Right. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. Uh-huh. God gave Micah the results of righteousness to give both nations, uh-huh. Israel and Judah, right. starting with right. the capital cities of Samaria and Jerusalem. When he lived this life and he said these words, he has showed thee, O oh man, Show what is good. Right. And what does the Lord require of thee? but to do justice yes. and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. Yes. God gave Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On, the God. results of righteousness yes. Yes. to give to these United States and the world yes. when he lived his life and he quoted this hymn, My country tis of thee, yes. sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Uh-huh. Land where my fathers died, right. land of the pilgrims pride, yes. from every mountainside, yes. let freedom ring. Yes. I want to hear what I'm saying today. God has given you and me, yes, you and I, the results of righteousness from the word of God, from the life of Dr. Martin Luther King, and from the salvation and spiritual guidance given by the birth, life, sacrificial death on the cross, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. For you see, we experience the results of righteousness, brothers and sisters, uh-huh. not just because of the words in the life of Isaiah, mm-hmm. not just because of the words in the life of Micah, yeah. not just because of the words in the life of Dr. King. Mm-hmm. For you see, Isaiah is dead, mm-hmm. but he's remembered. Yes, sir. Micah is dead, yeah. but he's remembered. Yes, Dr. King is dead, yes, but he is remembered. Yes, but Jesus, yes, but Jesus, yes, but Jesus, yes, he lives. Yes, he lives. Yes, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me yes, and he talks with me a long life, narrow way. Yes, yes he lives. Yes, he lives. Yes, Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives? He lives within my heart. Remember, brothers and sisters, it is our responsibility now to make real the results of righteousness. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We're going to extend the invitation at this time. There may be someone here today that needs to come. We want you to know that this invitation is for you to come just as you are. This is your time. This is your opportunity. Everything that we have done today Hmm. has been done. Everything that we have said today, every word that we have prayed today has been all put together to bring us to this moment for you to make up your mind to come to Jesus or to come back to Jesus. Don't put off for tomorrow. Don't put off for next time. Don't put off for next week. We have this chair here in symbol of that. We have the number on the screen that you can call. We have someone that will talk to you about the plan of salvation that God has in store for you if you would come. Let's sing together, Come to Jesus. Come Come to Jesus. If you're here, won't you come? Jesus Jesus said in his word, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Now is the accepted time. This is your opportunity to come just as you are. We invite you to come right now. Don't put it off. This is your opportunity. Only trust him. Only trust him. Only trust him. If you're here today, won't you come? You can call the number on the screen. 312-225-0510. Or you can call later. The Holy Spirit speaks to your life to make the decision to come to Jesus or to come back to Jesus. If you're here today, you can come right now. He will be a Savior right now. He will save you just now.
Won't you come? Won't you come today? He will save you. Trust him today. He will save you. Won't you come? This invitation is for you. He's able to save you. He's able to save you. And provide you with salvation opportunity. If you would let us make up your mind, come just as you are. Amen. We thank God for the opportunity that He's given us to extend this universal invitation. For you see, the doors of the church were open on the day of Pentecost. And ever since that day, we've had the right to extend this grand and glorious universal invitation that we invite you to come to Jesus or we invite you to come back to Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We thank God for each and every one of you. May God continue to bless you and may he keep each and every one of you. Now, I want to take this opportunity to say that we're thankful yes, to the members of Mount Carmel for viewing and your support of your church. Please tell your family and friends who do not use Facebook now that they can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And that is Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church dash Bronzeville. All right. And all you can right. watch these services, all of the lessons that we have uh, throughout uh, this month. Uh, even some of the ones that we have archived. You can go back and get the uh, mm -hmm. uh, programs that we have had, all opportunities right. that we have shared here. I want to also say that I'm continually thankful for our youth leaders, uh, Sister Camille McKee, as well as Sister Latoya McDonald, nice. for engaging our youth on Sundays and making sure that they're able to connect via Zoom. Yeah. Now, it's an unfortunate reality, brothers and sisters, but we had uh, 3,973 new cases of COVID-19 yes, since sir. last night. Yes, sir. And 41 new deaths. Well, Amen. This is real. This thing is real. Let us please not take it for granted. Yeah. I want to share with you that we had a successful COVID-19 testing event on yesterday here at the church. Mm -hmm. uh, we had partners. Our partners were the Star Lab Health System, as well as we had a visit uh, to our event and sharing of information uh, by Mrs. Uh, Florence Sina, Kimona of the Sinai Health Center of Mount Sinai Hospital. And so we want to make absolutely sure that we share those things uh, and be mindful of those things as well. At this time, we're going to have uh, one of our deacons to come as we prepare for our offertory appeal. Amen. 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 Only what you do for Christ will last. Amen. 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 Will a man rob God? Well, How have you robbed me? In your time, Amen. your talents, and your treasure. Well, Amen. So we come before you today just asking you to be obedient to God's word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do what did he say in his word? The word of God for the people of God. Mm. Yeah. Read his other word. Do his other word. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yeah. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in our lives right now. We come before your throne of grace just to lift you up, magnify your holy and righteous name. We come thank you for the opportunity to give back to you, Lord. Yes, just sir. Not just to give through our, 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 our money and stuff, but our time. All the day, this message has been about yeah. giving service, yeah. Lord. And to love God is to love God's people, Lord. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. say, yes, keep, continue to do what is right to my people, and I will bless you, Lord. Yes, so we just thank you for all the blessings thank that you God, have did, done for us, Lord. We thank you for our pastor, Lord. Yeah. We thank you for the insight that you have given him thank to you. give to us, Lord. We thank you how he has stood on the, on the fence, Lord, on the thank battlefield. You, just doing justice, Lord, doing what it takes thank to do your will, you. Lord, through his talents, Lord. Yes, so we just thank you. Thank we thank God. you for thank Reverend you. Falcon, Lord. We thank, thank you for yeah. all the times that you, thank the role model he has been for Mark Carmel, but not just thank for Mark Carmel, for the country, Lord. We thank you for they, both of their spouse, Lord. Thank we ask you, you to continue to bless Mark Carmel in a special way. Lift us up where we, we can build yeah, the world for yeah. the yeah. Forgive us for our sins, Lord, and deliver us from evil. I pray for my family. 
family, Lord. Ask you to continue to bless us as we go through these storms, Lord. Continue to have a mind that stayed on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, well. He's a mighty God, I tell you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Deacon Figures. I want to share just a couple other things with you. For those of you that may want your uh, end of the year financial reports, they are prepared. Uh, you can either call the church and set up a time in which we can have them ready for you to pick up, or you can call and leave us a message if you want them to be mailed to you, and we make sure that you get those. I uh, also want to say that there's a possibility that Mount Carmel may be a vaccination site. Amen, amen. Uh, we're still working to make that happen. And so we're just keeping everybody impressed of, of that reality. Okay, that God will give us the opportunity uh, to make that happen. Amen. Uh, may God continue to bless each and every one of us in every way as we continue to go down from this place. Let's see here if I don't get beside myself. I think I got everything covered now. So let's make absolutely sure that we remember uh, to share about Martin Luther King, Amen. share about Dr. King to the young people today. Let them know that these present times wouldn't exist as there well as they are for them and wasn't for those who stood on the wall. Right. As Deacon right. Figures may mention, uh, whether it is the fence or the wall, whatever it is that divided us, we've had to stand on it. Okay? And we thank God for that. So with that being said, let us prepare to go down from this place. Let us stand for the benediction. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, since you fall before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Until we meet again, let us all say amen. 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 God bless you.